Hello everybody, thanks for tuning in to my cast, Retto here. First, before we depart, we need some weight reduction. And luckily, I remembered that we can sell some stuff to the uh, to uh, Aini here. So I'd like to sell some raw materials. They are quite heavy. And there's a trinket. Um, I wanted to keep these to offer to an altar. Um, small tapestry can be sold. I want to keep the um, antiquities, to be honest. They are quite cool, uh, in my opinion. And then uh, we have. Oh, there it is. Some valuable stuff that I'd rather sell uh, than uh, this mantle. Want to keep these? Uh, uh, the great iron, uh, pig iron, and the ringleader's dagger. This one might come in handy at some point. And we need 1.8 kilograms of weight reduction. I think we can manage to do so. Um, I want to keep one amazing hairbrush. And what else? Let's sell a couple more of these. There we go. Now we're free to move properly again. Uh, thank you very much, Maxever, for your thoughts on the Polar Wolf. Um, it's really a good point <laughs> to ditch uh, this one with its mediocre uh, traits. Not having to feed somebody who's relatively feeble anyway, even if they had more positive traits. As for the knowledge point, I would like to learn how to upgrade the workshop. I'd like to get more raw materials for dismantling once we get so far couple of points here. Ooh, four in here. Good stuff. All right. Oh, and hey, we, lo we lost all the suspicion. Thanks to handing over those uh, prisoners. And there's even more of Lahore's army? You have a deserter amongst you. Yes, I know. Of Edirin, the all seeing eye, and Count Lahart, and over the blacksmith. <laughs> In the name of everybody. <laughs> uh, nope. We protect him and fight you off. Again, a troop of level five guys, three sappers. Let's see if we can handle them. Oh, oh, I'm a bit stupid, I think, because we have armor to be repaired, and I could could have used the raw materials for that rather than selling it. Oh yeah, look at this. Uh, you definitely need armor for the upcoming fight. So do you. That's good enough. Like you guys to have some armor, just in case. Yours is still pretty strong. I think I'll leave it at that. All right, let's fight. I wonder how Count the Heart is still able. Uh, to send so many war parties after us. Um, after all, we 
have uh, defeated them um, while we were in Ortis. Oh, this zapper is all the way in the back there. But I think Ronilia could duel them without having to move. And once uh, me guys are in over here, I think uh, we don't have to move much. Need to be mindful of this trap. <laughs> if you know me, you know that <laughs> uh, at some point I just keep forgetting that they are there and run over them carelessly. Oh yeah, let's bring you over to... Okay. Is this a good setup? Oh, we could get a triple hit here with Vanyan. But I'd really like to stop the sappers from aiming. Or uh, rather, targeting. Silice, do we want to try and get... Mm, I'd rather have you up here, I think. Next to your husband. Let's see, I think I can get the triple... Ooh. Yeah, I need to be careful here. Triple hit here. With her. Won't be able to kill them. Hmm. Yeah, but we should be all right, I think. Are we still strong enough over here? Yeah. Galim is a bit in a bad spot, so is Septenius. Let's get you a bit farther away. Maybe like this. All right, let's open up with Silice here. Maybe like this. Who? <laughs> Well judged here. Oh, but we need to get closer in order to hit the third guy here, the leader. This way we could hit, or let's get a bit further in. Oh yeah, that's much easier. There we go. And then, oh, can we even hit all three of them? Yes! Awesome! Boom! <laughs> that was a great hit. Unfortunately, he's not low enough for a Wrath. So, I'll pop protection just in case. And let's see. You are targeting our guys over here. So I think it's immediately time for Ronilio. Oh, lighting up the ground here makes us unable to move over it unless we don't care about burning. Should have moved the lights a bit out of the way. Um. What I could do, though, I think... Oh, I either get hit or eat the trap. Or I have to go through the mod and then I'm not sure if I can reach the sapper. Let's try and find out. Oh... He's trying to avoid the mod, but that's exactly what I don't want him to do. Let's come around here. 
Oh, jeez. You still triggered it. My bad. Sorry, Quinos. Wasn't my intention. Now, oh, let's see. You should be able to kill them. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Um, I think I don't want you to attack anymore. Um, let's come to this side here to get the best friends boost. What is it again? More damage. Awesome. And your turn, and somebody else is aiming. Of course. Okay. But now I think that's a better position. If I light up the ground over here, that's not so bothersome. So our guys can still charge in from the front. Ooh, and if we keep them here, lightning will surely put an end to them. Should they still be alive at the end of the round. Uh, let's make sure they are really in the fire and start burning. There we go. And bleeding on the sapper. Unfortunately, they have acted already, so they aren't going to take this damage this round. Now for the recoil shot. Might be better to come over here. Yes. Beautiful. Now he's burning too. So if he acts well, he will light up my guys here. But he's certainly going to die. I could come in with Frequim. Ooh, and get a good piercing throw there. No! Oh, ah, the edge counted. 20 damage. Ouch. Bad move of mine. But here's the double kill. Oh, look at this. Come on, a crit, crit. Oh, no crits. So, that'll have to do. Uh, let's get this duelist out of the way. Let's see. Ooh, the time could almost reach the other group over here. And over here, I could get quite a few... The Valor Points, I can get three here. Or these three, although they will be way off. They only need to deal with the Sapper up here. So I think I'd like to come over here. Let's see. That's a good spot. Get me temporary value points. And... For how long is this going? Ah, oh, the next attack. Good. No timer on it. And then... It should be close enough over here. Boom! Alright. Good turn over there, so we can focus on this, this group here. And I would like to get me animals in first. Can I put you here and still not hit you? When uh, Vanian is going to shoot. Where can our bear go? Need to make a plan which ones I would like to gather on. I think it's actually this duelist. And I could get 
three animals on them. Hmm. Will I be able to pull this off? Let's try. My curiosity kicking in again. So I would like to have you here. You do some targeting. Thinking. <laughs> he might feel smock having targeted four guys. But none of them will act this turn anyway. <laughs> Okay, so the second animal is by you. I would like you to come around here. Could have done a charge as well. Should I charge here? Four to nine damage. Is it worth? Oh, let's do this first. Nice, critical. I love it. Those boars crit so often. Ooh, now that armor is gone. Could deal up to 11. Maximum roll here. Wonderful. Well done, Bayou. And then I would like the bear to come in here. And I hope this gap is wide enough for Vanyan to shoot through. Oh. <laughs> the gathering. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect the bear to deal so much damage. <laughs> um, could put fragility on this guy. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Plan failed due to successful kill. <laughs> I failed successfully. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'd love to get you in here onto this guy. Will Vanyan be able to shoot through here? And then I'd have two animals on this legionary here. Let's try it out. You come over here. Oh, beautiful. Crit, maybe? No. Still, it's a great bow. And now the attack order. Let's see if we can strip his armor. Oh, yeah. Great stuff here. Okay. Wait a second. He didn't take retaliation damage the first time when the Dark Steed got pushed back. I thought the damage would proc before the, fo uh, the pushback, but that's not the case. Ooh, a Legion Galia. I want it. Uh, what I wanted to know is. They deal 10% more damage due to motivation. But also, they would be a great target. Hehe, <laughs> for the frenzy here. I want to see how often... The Strict 9 procs. So, let's add it. Should I throw... Poison while as well. Do some stupid amounts of... Oh, I could even get all three in the cloud, I think. <laughs> Breathe. Well, six stacks <laughs> from the poison while, which is nuts already. And now I want to see... Whoa, up to 104 damage. Let's see how many stacks. We should get at least four for a poisoned weapon and strike nine once. Maybe we get another four. <laughs> we do. <laughs> this is. 
<laughs> this is <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> 14 stacks. <laughs> uh, merely losing 70% of his maximum health. <laughs> to poison. Oh boy. <laughs> this is great. Man. Um, but I don't want to... I think I don't want it to proc because he... Oh, he has already acted this turn anyway. Um, oh, but I don't want to spend a permanent valor point here. It's not necessary. Ah, uh, so let's bind this guy here. Ooh, they will deal quite some damage to Brightlin. But I think it can take it. Um, let's actually come over here. Wonderful. You push back the bear. Man, he must have some massive, massive muscles to be able to push back a brown bear <laughs> like this. So, you have my respects. <laughs> um, ooh, they might still have some guard left if he attacks here. So, we get the second attack. Ooh, we got it anyway. Very cool. So maybe the the check where the guard is still there uh, procs before the damage, potentially. That's why I think they ha uh, Septenius had a second attack. Uh, please, yes, I know you're engaged. Do we need to... Hmm... Uh, how much damage are you going to take? 20. Almost half. To get them down to 16. So they're going to die. Well, they die anyway. Let's end your turn here. Oh, yeah. There's still a Rennes. Maybe she can finish here. Oh, yeah. Wonderfully done. And double kill. Um, let's come closer over here. And throw the smoke screen for an extra attack here. And a throw. Down to 12. Beautiful. Now is the time. Ah, uh, you could trigger this, but I don't want to. We have Ronilia ne uh, nearby. Same with Borhal. Uh, you may come over here. And lightning strikes. Boom. Okay. Supper it is. Uh, let's check the recoil shot. I uh, think this is safe from over here. Yes. Light them on fire and bleed. Uh, get the kill here. Wonderfully done, Ronilia. Now over here. Um, can we get the time in? No. The way is blocked, so it's a Rene's time. 42 damage. <laughs> Great. Alright. We took very little damage. Ah. Uh, 
summon the trap and bit on the armor. But that's all right. We got another gold tooth, 42 crowns. Ooh, another officer's pilum. This time level five. That's better than what we have currently. Oh, but we have strength oil on this one. Well, that's not too critical, to be honest. She would deal 10 per blow. Oh, it's the same. Same amount of damage, so no reason to change your weapon. But yours is weaker. Upgrading from 7 to 8 damage per blow. Beautiful. This one will be sold. Some wheat, vinegar, and a legion by Cockett. Legion uh, Charisma. Every time this unit deals a critical hit, adjacent allies gain brutality for one round. Interesting. Okay. Huh. How are we going to implement this? So you need to be next to an ally. And then land a critical hit. That would be good on you, but I love the Strike 9. <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious uh, how many stacks of poison we can get on to the enemies with it. And here as well. Well, I could try over here. She's at 24% crit chance. Does this add some? No. But I can try to get her close to an ally or next to an ally and then hope for a crit. Or you got a pretty good crit chance, but the plus one range is just too good. You could do with it as well. And then giving brutality, although you usually act after the animals, so brutality would be only relevant a round later. So I think I'll give it to Arenis to get some extra armor. Oh yeah, I went ahead and um, toggled all the helmets off. I do like to see my people in full, especially the heads, uh, the helmets. Even if only covering part of the head, uh, remove some of the personality, I think. So I toggled them off. Okay, Silais, level 6. Get a free double strength. I do want some more movement on you sometime. Oh, but look at this. Plus two damage on Eternal Youth. Charge plus one and Wrath plus one. I'll take it. Well done, Silice. And we got a jacket. Ooh. Quite a good one. I may say so. You'd get much more. Uh, but the ringleader's tabard gets you willpower. Although, ha! You're over, over the maximum anyway. Um, but you'd also lose critical hit chance. Ooh, I didn't realize there's an armor giving extra range. Ooh, I need to check. Ronilia, you get movement, critical hit, and 12 armor. But I want the range. Although, maybe I want it on... 
uh, Vanyan instead. Let's see, because she's already at 16 and 11. Lose a big critical hit chance, I'm not worried about that. Plus one range, or do I want extra range for Vanyan? So he could potentially hit more enemies if they are lined up properly. Yeah, um, I do like the Hunter's Cloak on Ronilia, uh, since she is a Hunter. Bit of role-playing here, <laughs> so... Let's give this one to Vanyan. So he's got 11 meters range, which can be doubled. I think that's going to be awesome. This one I'll sell to. And we are overweight, of course. <laughs> I promise I do everything I can to increase our carrying capacity. I just hope uh, that we find a proper uh, pony. And that we have enough crowns to um, adopt it. There we go. Make a bit here. Well, let's just use the things here. But not too many, just one here. And the dark steed needs some. Two more should be used up. Let's see. Your armor is a bit low. Yeah. Let's use one on you. Bit excessive use at the moment of these, but I think it'll be easy to remanufacture them. There are some refugees. Don't want to talk to them right now. Let's see, have you some good ponies here? A confident one? Okay. Not the most useful skill on a pony. You are quick. 13 movement, but a glutton. I do not like that. What an appetite. Because that's daily use. Let's see here. Indeed, there is a strong pony. Beautiful. It isn't bro... Um, what was the other one? Stocky. Uh, the one we lost so quickly. I mean, it ran away. <coughs> Maybe uh, it's joined <laughs> Winnie too. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but this one looks great. Strong pony. It would be great if it was bra uh, brawny as well. But strong is cool too. Let's ask here. 360 crowns. Should be able to afford that. Yes, please. My companions has, have no opinion on this choice. Come on now. <laughs> you were barely able to carry... <laughs> All the goods we have. And you have no opinion on getting a pony. That's strange. Oh, look at this. Hemp all the way over here. Thanks for that. Go away. Thank you. Oh, there's the wheat here. Yes. Don't need to steal that. And what else was there? More wheat, I think. Oh, leather and salt. Okay. We could do with some salt, leather, I think we're good. 23 is good. Let's see. 
Ooh, that's quite a lot of suspicion. For just a little salt. Not worth it. Need a new companion? Should I buy them? We have learned how to make them. But I haven't uh, gone and made any just yet, I think. Where's the thing again? Isn't it at the Tinkerer's... On the Tinkerer's tab? Apparently not. Here it is. We need more iron ore. Oh, and we should get some coal to make some, but it's really worth doing, I think, because 50 crowns each is a bit rich. Oh, we can check how much suspicion we get. Wow, way too much. Although we have a chance to not gain any suspicion from the steel through the handkerchief. But I don't want to risk it right now with all the guards around. There's an itinerary merchant. Let's say hello before we hop into town. Let's see what wares you have. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my <gasps> Oh, these aren't humble wares, my my son. Look at this. 108 crowns. Yes, please. I need all of it. <laughs> uh, let's sell some lockpicks. If I may say so, I feel quite proficient um, picking locks. So I don't think I need this many. And the simple fish hooks we don't need anymore. We have 30 sturdy ones. That's more than good enough, I think. <laughs> we could sell the merch mercenary's treasure map for 15 crowns. Doesn't help us in any way. <laughs> so they could sell it to somebody else. Uh, who then will only find a hole <laughs> where the treasure's supposed to be. Oh, we got a sapphire. Let's sell this one. Should I sell? No, I'll put it in a chest. Someday, once I remember. Um, what else do we have? The medallion. I do like to keep those uh, belt accessories. I think I should put them in a chest too. Okay, what else we have? I think we have, oh yeah, more than enough Al Alisarian powder. I wonder, where's the... Where are my... Plants or flowers? I wonder if we ever need this mountain willow. 45 crowns is quite a bit. I'd like to buy it just to have at hand. If we ever have something to craft with with it. Ooh, some gold teeth. Sure. Ah, oh, and these that I wanted to sell. Master's jacket. And the peel them. All right. Thank you very much for the business. Have a nice day. All righty. Let's come around here. Talk to Master Hewlin. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm looking to hire a skilled blacksmith. Yes. If you happen to know one. I do know one. A few dents here and there. And he, he happens. Come on. You he happens to be anvil. with us. I can also repair your armor. Oh, and I'm Such looking as to Cleese hire a skilled as new blacksmith. blacksmith. Oh, we get know. twenty raw materials. Sure. There we go. I asked you for a blacksmith, and you bring me a refugee on the run from an Ederanian count. Oh, very well then. But he'll have to work out back, and don't you go telling anyone he's here. Well, 
Just don't tell anybody that he's a refugee. I mean, <laughs> it's not written on his face or anything. So, <laughs> just say he's a, a distant relative or whatever. <laughs> now, take this and keep your mouth shut. Sure, I won't say a thing. All right. With all the materials, I think before I go and forge anything, I want to check here if we can't upgrade anything. Ooh, potentially. Oh, uh, we have these already. Maybe the strategy table? I've never upgraded it before, so I'm curious to see what uh, bonus or tactics we can apply there. We have a little too few iron ore for the workshop upgrade. And which one was also... Do we have the hitching post already? No, we don't. Okay, if I bought some salt, I think I'm going to do that. Or if I can find some more iron ore, I'll do the workshop. Uh, what did you, you sell? Ah, just I can also repair your coal armor. and raw materials. How much do we get? Wow, so much suspicion. Don't want to risk getting wanted. Over at the apothecaries. can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to Blasks. hold on to the vials after using them. Who? Yes, 40 to 60. What? We got 64? How was that possible when it said we, we would get 40 to 60? Man. Galim, you have to become better. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed. Okay, uh, what else did I want to do? Maybe sell some medicine? Although this is only four kilograms. I'll keep them. Okay. So let's see what we can prepare here with Quinos. Whole lot of stuff here. Got them all done. To quickly go through these to see if there's any new one. I wonder. I'd really like to make an acidic oil to get a chance to put burning on enemies. Because I wonder if I could put poison and burning on an enemy with one of my rangers and then come in with the time and do several attacks on the enemy maybe i need to go over and buy some coal afterwards to have some again but i'd like to prepare an acidic oil here get some residue nice okay what else do we have eight medicine Oh, didn't they sell any comfrey? My concoctions Ooh, can heal the okay. most grievous injury. Thought the, they had it in strong cap. Oh, we have enough comfrey to use up all the wilds. Well, let's do this. Wow. Awesome ad additional production here. Thank you. My concoctions can heal the most grievous injuries. Oh, are some of them sure now the um, after using them. still raising suspicion? Where are they? Are they all good now? Ooh, okay. Because we used up um, wilds that would have um, raised... Or uh, would have raised suspicion. 
But it seems that they are laundered now. So I hope we don't need 28 medicine. So I'm going to sell these eight here for a good profit. And that's that. Let's hit the market, see what we can buy. Hopefully a lot of salt. Come, come. Take a look at my wares. And this, please. Don't need leather, I think. Yep. That's alright. You touch it, you buy it. That's my intention. All the salt, please. I do like to have fruits just to get to add variety to our meals and hopefully if I find some honey I'm still hoping for honey on an itinerary merchant or maybe if we go over to Arthas again um, it's quite heavy though but then I could add some more of this stuff during the rests Wheat, we have 38. And how much salt do we have now? 15. Yeah, we should be alright like this, Those I think. Refugees. Ooh, I mutton at a discount. Veteran, one crown for themselves. one food. 20 salt. Got it. Thanks. We're still sitting here. Thank you so much. Okay. Dosh, please. Might she be looking for work? Here is your reward. Thank you. Now let's see. New adventures. Oh, we still need to locate the tomb. The lair is next by um just next to the tomb. Or pretty close. I could accept it already to get a lot of crowns from it. And then start reducing its power by hunting down the skull bandits. I mean, we have five contracts that we can accept. So I think I'm going to do that because the price or the bounty for the contract lowers if uh, it becomes easier. Do I dare negotiating again 71 that's a lot of crowns uh, a lot of influence but we will get a lot of crowns too that's good enough for me there we go almost 400 do i want to accept matthias lund's thing no i don't think so right now and we have to assassinate Contracts, one in the east, one in the south. Um, hmm, not in the direction I really want to go to. Well, let's see where exactly they are. We have a lot of influence still, so let's negotiate twice. Do I dare? 80%? Another 60 crowns. I don't want to push my luck today. <laughs> okay, this is next to the cave there where Berthram, or what was his name, uh, is hiding. Some here, 90%, 60, down to 220. I don't think I want to hire another person, to be honest. Let's do this. We have quite a few people, so should be all right. Okay, they are next to the sheepfold, where we helped the Parvi family. 
just out of curiosity, let's see. Wolter, another ranger, okay. Hello. Siletas. And Emmon. Ooh, bloodthirsty and stocky. Okay, have a nice day. Feel free Let's see to come what back you often. have. I think we're we still good on brandy. Here, oh yes. Especially since all the fighting started across the border. Do I want another apple pancake? Thirty crowns. I think we can afford it. All right, we are quite good on crowns, so I feel confident to build the travel post here. Is there any hemp growing in here? Doesn't seem so. Okay. Let's this talk to you. This travel post was one of Tiltran's jewels, but it's been abandoned for years. With appropriate funding, I could help you rebuild the place. You could then use it to travel quickly from one village to another. Yeah. Once we build another one, of course. For 500 crowns, we can afford. You won't have to wait long. Craftsmen are ready to get to work. Beautiful. Stewardess Lefty. There we go. Here we could leave companions. If we ever feel we have... We had anyone... Too many. Manage garrison. Ah, okay. Eric can access all three stools at the same time. Um, what has the stewardess to offer? In this camp, you will find a chest to store unneeded items, mm -hmm. as well as stools where you can leave companions who are slowing you down. I can also arrange trips between travel posts you built in other villages. Where would you like to go? Ah, oh, she's the one we could ask to travel. It would use some supplies, of course, and we would have to pay. Okay. A day and two hours. Could I choose this? No, it's red. Okay. But once we built it, we can choose to do so. So, the chest. There we are. Uh, this one is done. Let's go through here. That one I don't need. I want to keep these things in case I need it. There are the antiquities. I don't think I need this one. I'll keep this, I think. Although I, I'm going to put people on uh, the gurney if they are uh, injured or I simply heal them with the abundant medicine we have don't think I need this oh I should either use those or sell them so I'll keep it oh there's Borhal's barrel lid this needs to be stored and you know what for extra protection, let's add some cloth. <laughs> so uh, it's well protected in the uh, travel post chest. There we go. <laughs> Legendary item. I'm still waiting for the developers to to put it next to shield. Dash legendary. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's see, what else do I want to put in here? None of these things, we all need them. Um, I don't know when we are going to use this one, so I think I'll keep it. Yeah, that's actually all for now, I think. Or do I miss anything? I think we're good like this. I could put some 
cures for the plague in because I don't think we're ever going to need 10 of them at the same time. And having some um, in reserve might help one day. Okay. Oh, we could also put some of the raw materials in there. Just to lose some weight and have a reserve as well. Can I put this? No, I don't want to put all of them in. Need to do it like this. Let's put like 17. Keep 20. There we go. Alright. Beautiful stuff. And we got some work cut out for us. Hmm, do I dare venturing into those mountains here? They are dangerous. Just to um, explore or just find the tomb for the extra dosh. And maybe also complete this contract here. Hmm, I don't feel very confident. I think the next trip will be over here to the east to assassinate uh, these guys and maybe go in this uh, cave over there but for today this is it thank you very much for watching especially i i appreciate you very much who made it all the way to the end of today's cast you guys are awesome uh, please, if you enjoyed it, press the like button. And for anybody who hasn't subscribed yet, please do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all the best and I'll see you next time.